As a reading teacher, I did what I knew to do at home, but that just wasn't quite working. It was worth every financial investment. I, I would do it again if needed. I think it's a quality education in that I can tell a difference with just working with him in the evenings during the school year with homework that we have to do, um, with studying that we have to do for testing. His comprehension became much greater and so there was a better understanding of the content that he was getting. So that was very helpful. I personally can see struggling students and without an intervention or a proper intervention matched with their reading struggle, that that will continue to be a struggle. You know, there's a lot of talk of just spend more time reading at home, you know, spend more time talking about the text that you're reading. Uh, but for Ryan and for maybe a struggling reader, that just isn't quite going to make it. You can read five books a night, but that doesn't mean they're going to close the gap and just automatically become a better reader. As a reading teacher, I could not do, I did what I knew to do at home, but that just wasn't quite working as well as it something needed to. So I could not personally get him to the reading level that he needed to be at. I felt like I just did not know what I was doing, that it, it was my fault. There's just a confidence, performance confidence level problem in children who have dyslexia in the classroom. And not only is it just a lack of confidence in reading, it's all around lack of confidence of performance in, it could be social situations or in, in all the other subjects. So it, it's not addressed the way that it needs to be. I don't know why, it's kind of a don't touch that word because the language that we use in public education is just a struggling reader. I'm able to say dyslexia because I know enough about all the symptoms of the struggles that that's what it is. But yeah, we don't say that. It is unfortunate, it is and there are kids that are falling through the cracks and missing out on that, absolutely. When it came to reading and it came to studying, he didn't have a lot of memories to look back on to say, I can be successful in this. Whereas athletics, he excels, he had fun doing it and it brought him pleasure, but then for you know, sitting and reading a bedtime story, wasn't near as enjoyable. He just didn't have that. I thought it was a great place to to bring a child to just become a better student and become a better reader. The staff was friendly, they're informational and review what what they studied. I did not have a problem with the charge. It was worth every financial investment. I, I would do it again if needed. I was willing to pay for a service that was going to benefit my child. It was very clear that here, you wanted to help students if you can, and if you can't, and it's not the right program, then it's not the right program, and that's okay too. You know, you're always in fear as a parent seeking out um, some help for your child that, is this really real? Is it really gonna help? H how much time am I gonna invest in before I realize that it's not the best solution? So, but it was very upfront and clear from the beginning. I could see the progress, so I was knowing that I was paying for a service and participating in a program that was worthwhile. I knew and had confidence that they knew exactly what they were doing and what they were looking for and the type of student that could benefit from the program. So I had all the confidence in them because I knew that they were trained. I knew that they had years of experience already. So I knew my child was getting the help that he needed and he was getting it from trained successful teachers. He was making progress. I knew that he was just becoming a more confident reader and that the program was working. <music>